Welcome guys, this is Ola from Stop Me On Channel. Today we are playing a game that's been released on Steam and it's free. It's called Marie's Room and apparently it's very nostalgic, very sentimental and very similar to Life is Strange or Gone Home or What Remains of Edith Finch. So that's why I want to play it, not only because it's free. <laughs> It's a one sitting game, you cannot really save the game. You're exploring your ex-girlfriend or ex-friend's room and you find some hints about her life. Let's check it out. I didn't want to come back. Why would I, after all that's happened, even in here? So, where is the journal? Right. Duly noted, we're looking for a journal. Oh, to interact. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. Oh, I see. Uh, she looks... No. She looked like that actress, which I'm embarrassed because I don't remember her name. Wait, let me check this out. Maybe that's the journal. Local wine guide. California crisp white wines. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. Ha ah, ha ha. Obviously, obviously. Is that me? Oh my god, the hair. What was I thinking? Wait, but I don't get it. Am I Marie or... Am I in Marie's house? I don't think I don't... Ugh. You know what? I've been playing Welcome to the Game just now. What, uh, more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. Hundred what? Yeah, anyway, I've been playing this game called Welcome to the Game. It's no, that's her parents' room. Right, so that's not my house. Okay, basically, that's their room, so I should have gone there straight away. I've been playing Welcome to the Game, and it's a really freaky game. Oh, Parent oh Marie's Journal. Cool, 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 cool. That game freaked me out. I had a worst jump scare of my life. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you... I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be alright. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be alright. Right. So I am not Marie. For certain. I have a dream. What, Martin Luther King? Where am I? Am I... Did I go back in time? Where is that... Am I supposed to read the journal again? Nothing was different. We're going to be friends. We're going to be friends? Back. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to... Sparkly shoes. He had money. You see? He bought me things. I was gonna wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. Um... Wait, so Marie had a boyfriend or a partner who bought her stuff. Smoking jar. She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. What? So it's like I had to spend money on cigarettes. I didn't like that she kept the stone. And also extra. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. Wow. Marie sounds like a pain in the ass, making me extra pay for cigarettes, keeping some stuff around. This passive aggressive. Journal updated. What am I supposed to do? Have you seen this man? <laughs> he 
Yeah, I've seen him. Did we murder someone? Are we messed Chemistry up? Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. The true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. Oh, so that's Einstein. Then you have intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. Walking. Rest in peace, Stephen Hall. Ah, poster. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring is what she said. Her. The weird kid talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter. Because who wants to be boring? Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Knife wound? Right, so this is Marie. Apparently her last name is Torres. Her mother is dead. I'm collecting information. Trevor. What an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. Mm-hmm. That's clump. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Open drawer. Lorraine, oh. Marie's mom, died when she was five. My mother, she might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. Okay. Okay. Oh, my little Marie Curie. So, obviously, she was a scientist. Ooh. Nice collection you have there, Marie. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. Ugh. I don't think she ever went. Ugh, Europe. Europe's overrated. I've been pretty much everywhere. Except for Sometimes Eastern it got Europe. so hot. This thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us. No, seriously, are we some sort of murderers? Yeah, Europe. The thing is, I think you always want to go where you're not... Wherever you're not present. Turn on TV. But I did that. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at the journal. Journal, apparently it's updated. January 5th, 2018. Oh, we all just met her. That's what Kelsey keeps saying. And she's right, but matter is also life. Am I Kelsey? And life is something we need to take care of. She likes to be out on a limb. She says she's got nothing to lose. Bam, she didn't even realize what she was saying. Or maybe I'm too sensitive. I guess that will show me to believe that we are friends. I guess I am a shadow person after all. I am a shadow person after all. I think she's gonna break her neck, by the way. See if I care. This is very Life is Strange like. February 16th. Okay, I've calmed down a bit. The Lala night she was with. Trevor, that Lala night, oh Lala Land? And he is such a fucking asshole. She's different when she's around him. Not that it makes it alright. But she did come straight over to tell me she was sorry. She knows she was wrong. Broke my window with that damn rock. Oh, so she's talking about me. Right, because that's Marie. She said if I'd answered the call of the pebbles, she wouldn't have found the rock. She's been here ever since. Doesn't have anywhere else to go really, except for Trevor. I'm glad she'd rather sleep here. Right now, as I write this, she's on the bed, going over some notes from class. I like having her here, and that's okay with it. How young am I? That's okay with it? I thought I was an adult, I sounded like an adult. March 17th. Oh, those sparkly shoes, she wears them all the time. Last night, the heels dug into my calf. That freaking hurt. Have you seen those heels? So I yanked them over her feet and I told her not in the bed. She was amused. I can't think why. To be honest, I wish I was a size 9 because they look absolutely gorgeous. On Kelsey's feet at least. 
When I tried them on, I looked like a little girl trying on mommy's shoes. And March 17th as well. You may have noticed, sweet journal, that there are less and less F-words in these pages. I am so freaking proud. Huh. Only when I go berserk, like when Kelsey threw that rock from my window, then it's hard to keep up. Did you know that as a little girl I used to curse abundantly, trying to extend my vocabulary here, huh? That thought that indicated intelligence. Yeah, I, I say the same thing about cursing. My cursing. And I guess it looked cute up to a certain age. But he said mom hated it, so every time I used the F word, it made me put a piece of candy in the swear jar. I can't tell you how much that hurt every time because I'd never see it again. I think he secretly ate it. He must have rejoiced. Yep, vocabulary extension again. Every time I swore like a madman. Mad woman. Must have. Kelsey broke up with Trevor. Finally! She can do much better than that total loser. He assaulted her in the school hallway. Yeah, yeah, I said that. Of course, no one saw it happen, but he literally tore the clothes from her body. What? But she's done with him now. Things can only get better. There's been an another home invasion just two blocks from here. June 30. Oh, that's that's in the future. They killed the woman this time and the police think it's Trevor. Oh my goodness, I was dating a criminal. Oh. Suppose it was him in our house. I can't wrap my hand around it. It's too big, but Kelsey says it isn't true. That Trevor is a bastard but would never commit such violent acts. Looking at the torn t-shirt, I think she might be in denial here. <laughs> oh, you're bad. Of course I'm in denial. Ooh. I she can... once asked me, don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. Pragmatic. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. Oh my goodness. Oh. Case. I need to find the key. A five-figure number. Yeah, I don't have the key. Is it in the journal? Perhaps. Yeah, there's too many letters. Oh, nine? What if what if it's that? But I don't have the I only have nine. Yeah, that must be it. These gains are predictable based on life is strange. I know how that works. I know how that works. I have to look for stuff. Oh, I haven't opened that drawer yet. Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house. Not long after we met at Food Rescue. He was stabbed. Almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches. Concussion. She still had headaches, she said. Is that a Life is Strange font? And they even use it like that. That stone, I've already interacted with. Oh, maybe the... Can I open that? Maybe the calendar is a hint, but I can't see anything on it. Oh, oh! Phone! Where is I she? I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend, free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me, and we'd get out just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. Where did the money come from? Like, was he stealing from people? Oh, journal is updated. But you know what? Let's keep looking. White bird. I Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Mm, a Rubik's Cube. Hated that thing. Not helping. Trying to update the journal here. Already checked that poster. Uh, what else? Oh, ring binder. Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Uh, she... Outrageous. But I got over it and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Mm. Sheet of paper. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. Or maybe... Alright, I might have been a little jealous. 4th March. So, is that a hint as well? 4. 
far I know four and nine. Whiteboard already checked. Uh, ripped shirt already checked. Probably there's still some stuff going on here. Uh, did I check this part? Oh, where's the cat? Bumblebee. There's no cat, but there are cat toys. Why am I even doing this? I'm sneaking around someone's room. This is invading privacy. Big time. Uh, Marie. 4th of March? Let's try Marie. <laughs> Wrong she password. She must have written it down here somewhere. What did it say? Marie. She must I'm have not written uh, it down here somewhere. I'm not a... Uh, she she wrote it somewhere, right? I I I I've seen that somewhere. Wait, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and check that journal again. I've seen that. Wait, let me go back. Oh, November twenty first. Oh my God, they put me on Kelsey's Kelsey's team. Did she had a crush on me or something? My heart races whenever I stop to think about it. Don't think she's all that pleased, though. I wonder whether she remembers me from Food Rescue. God, I hope not. Well, what did I do? Mess it up? I feel so connected to her. Isn't that weird? I'd love for us to be friends. Right, friends. She's just amazing. Ah, thank you. I am. Can't wait to start working on our science project. Did you get that? Our project. Oh, God. Go have to chill. I feel like I'm going to explode from excitement. Yeah, why don't you do that? Ugh, I'm sorry, I'm being so cynical. <laughs> I'm not fearless. Just stop. Why do you keep writing this shit? I know there isn't much news in Oregon Grove, but it's been ages. Not literally, but you know. You are never gonna find them. I wish everyone would just stop. Leave us alone so I can forget that whole god-awful night. Oh, I'm missing something. Oh, I know, the, that's about the stabbing. My dad got stabbed or something. Some think... Oh, some think that my dad was a hero for trying to stop them. The truth is, we never saw them coming. When that guy jumped and stabbed my dad, something snapped and I would have punched him, scratched his eyes out, I swear. I think I could have killed him, but the other one got to me before I even knew there were two. I never saw their faces, neither did my dad, so they never caught them. That's Trevor, right? Mm. There's no more numbers. Oh, look at that. I guess I am a shadow person after all. Thank you very much. I'm trying to... I haven't read that, right? I'm trying to ignore the fact that all of Kelsey's cute stuff is paid for with Trevor's money. He is such a creep. So like Elliot in life is strange before the storm. I don't get what she sees in him. She says I'm jealous. As if. Right, right, right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thing is, she thinks she needs him to get away from all of this, but she doesn't. She got away from her mom all on her own. Kelsey is the smartest, coolest, sweetest person you can imagine. She doesn't need anyone to get her out. She can do that all on her own. You bet she doesn't believe that herself yet. Mm, I've read that. Nine. I have a dream. I've read that. I've read that. Ugh. I did it. I hope I'm not going to regret it. What did you do? Mm. Wake me up when I'm famous. She wants to be famous or she's just putting that. Oh, helmet. I couldn't afford a car and Marie didn't want one. So we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly. And with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Yeah. I was losing my glamour status at school, right there. Hmm. I'm not, I'm a, not shadow. a shadow person. Yeah, it took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. Right. Wait, can I... 
use these. Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys, so I'd feel at home. I loved him for it. But every time I used those keys, I felt a pang of guilt. Why? Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. When I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside. Mm-hmm. Search Kelsey's jacket. Why am I being creepy like this? She asked Ooh. me why I was so angry all the time. And I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards had been dealt. Any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie? My friend Marie. She got me a new deck. And suggested I deal again. Right. Did they update my journal with this? Can you? Please. This is not creepy at all. Just walking around, searching through other person's stuff, reading correspondence. That's totally fine. I mean... Totally fine. There's nothing weird about that at all. Huh. You know what? Let's try that laptop again. Uh, Damn, what's I'm the not password a, again? I need to find it. I'm not a shadow person. She must have written it down here somewhere. I'm not a shadow person. That's how you do it. Achievement unlocked. See? Life is strange. Why does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? If they had, none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. Wait, did Trevor die? Hi, Marie. It grieves me to hear that this is how you feel, but I'm afraid there's not much I can do at this stage. I understand you are alarmed and feel unsafe, but Trevor has not broken any school laws, nor has he hurt anyone. Didn't he assault me? I would like to invite you and Trevor into my office to see if we can start up a conversation between the two of you. Let me know when you are ready to talk. You know where to find me. Kind regards. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Why didn't you tell me, Marie? No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. So something happened in the Orange Grove. Did we... Did we kill someone, I'm wondering? Oh One my day, god. I just had to know. What's up with all the cats? She said she admired them. That they were who they were without any pretense. That they had no fear of confrontation. She wanted to be more like them. Okay. When Bumblebee went missing, Marie cried for days. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. Wait, so Trevor is like, what, assaulting me, killing Marie's cats? Are we paranoid or is he evil? GNK webs. Marie, Ooh. what were you thinking? You know that's illegal. Yeah, that's my girl. Don't do illegal stuff. Kinda. Uh, right, right. Can I... Oh, Taurus Wi-Fi. I love that. That detail. 33% charged. It's what? Wait, wait, I can't see. What is it? Does it say 2018? Yeah, it does. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we can check. Oh, wait, that GIF. GIF. Witness overload. Yup, she's gay and she loves cats. Would you like at that? Anything else is new? Oh, what is that? Huh. Desk lamp. Hmm. Oh, did I open that? No. Oh, La La, -la, -la. Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. What? You are. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. 
Joe? Never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. What? Go. Oh, four. That's the same number. Must be the case combination. She hates La La Land. Well, 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 Missy, we're not friends. La La Land was an excellent movie. I cried. Not once, but twice. But this isn't about me. This isn't about me. Uh, I've opened the drawer. I've checked that map. Still searching for new things to check. Because I feel like... Oh, can I check the ceiling? I'm gonna go and check the journal again. Uh, still missing that first page. I've seen that. Seen that. I love cats. Because they're not afraid to be difficult. Right. Dude, you're so deep, I can't even see you in there. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so cynical. No, I like this, I really do. I am alone. Four. Oh, okay, so it's here. Four, nine. What happened on that La La Land? I went with Ben. Kelsey was there. I hugged her and she pushed me away. Right, okay, so... I was afraid to be... Seen as gay or something. Oh, Trevor like La La Land. See, Trevor's a decent guy. Mm, four nine. Uh, she called me her friend today. I am not a shadow person anymore. She's my friend. Ugh. Kelsey is so angry at the word, like, all the time. It's kinda annoying, but I get it. We all have a different story to tell. So as a friend, I did the only decent thing. I told her she could do anything she wanted. She just had to make it happen, not wait for it. I told her to deal again, not drugs. <laughs> okay. Kelsey broke up with Trevor. Oh, five. Is that five? Today was a good day. Only five emails from Trevor. Only five. Also, Trevor was a stalker. That's a crime. I hope he's finally getting it. She's not coming back. He really holds me responsible for it. I can handle that if it keeps him away from her. When I saw him in the hallway this morning, he slid his finger across his throat again. Oh, like that? If he wasn't such a scary as clown, I'd laugh. But he does scare me. I don't tell Kelsey these things. You shouldn't worry. Why, thank you. Now I can read it behind your back. They're not listening. I've tried every authority at school. I even tried the cops, but they just patted my shoulder. Poor little girl, still traumatized. Bump on the head didn't do her any good. Yes, I'm swearing now. A jar full of candy. What should I do? I wish I could tell Kelsey, but she'd go insane and get herself hurt. Or worse, go back to him. Hmm. Oh, so she bought a gun. Just in case. Because no one wanted to help her. But I'm still missing pages, so we have to look harder. We won't open that case just yet. Can I leave the room or is it only that room? Because I don't I don't know what else to check. I checked that pillow. Maybe I should check things Oh 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 I've Backpack, yes. Disgusting, but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. This didn't update my... Oh, what happened? What's happening to that journal? Why is it... What happened? What was that? Did you see that? Did it update it? Look, it's almost full. Almost full. Oh, oh, oh. What is that? I never, I've never seen that. I screwed up, but I was worried. I'm still worried. And what else could I do? Kelsey hasn't been to food rescue in a while, and I just wanted to make sure she wasn't hungry or something. Hungry. So I offered her my sandwich. Ah, oh, why did I do that? Now we'll never be friends. Good one, Marie. Really, really well done. 
She looked at me like I was crazy and walked out. And now we're behind with the project too. I hope we can make the deadline. But... Yeah. Four, nine, five. You know what? I could guess. But wait, no, I don't know when the where the number would be. So yeah, no, 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 that's too weird to guess. Not going to guess it because I'm not certain where to put the number. Hmm. Whoa, the music stopped playing. It's like the game's tired of me. I don't know what else to check. What? Uh, oh, broken window. Cool. Let's she was my it. friend, and I had to tell her. So I came back here, throwing stones at the window, but she didn't react, so I threw a bigger stone, and it shattered the glass. She kept the stone as a souvenir to remind her not to trust me ever again. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, if you throw windows, I mean stones, at people's windows, this might happen. People might think that you're dangerous. Note to self. Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. So what is it that happened? I think my journal's updated. There are two new pages. Oh, oh. Yeah, these footsteps. Because of the welcome to the game, they're so freaking... Ugh, it's not full yet. I'm still missing that page. Seen that, I seen that. Seen that. Four, nine. Oh, this is a broken window thing. I feel out of place everywhere outside of this room. He said she was sorry, I know. But fuck, I feel like I'm walking on eggshells and that's not what a friendship should be like, right? I feel disconnected. She did not want to be my friend. She was embarrassed. Hmm. Oh right, so that's around the La La Land night. And I went to broke her window. Hmm. Five. Took me forever to convince Kelsey to ride a bike because it ain't cool. Our rides are the best part of the day now and on this day we rode them through Mr. Jones's orange grove in broad daylight. Well, what's so weird about that? We got home with a basket full of the juiciest golden oranges. I didn't even think about getting caught. Great, but I'm still waiting for a number. Oh, oh. Have you ever peeled yes. an orange so juicy the drops erupted from underneath the skin like fireworks in the setting sun? The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. Uh, that updated the journal. Mm. Still don't have that last page. And the first page. Four, nine. This is a place. There's an empty spot here. Five. Kelsey took me night swimming in Mr. Jones's pool. I was scared shitless first time. But ah, two beers and freshly picked oranges. Chill. Best nights ever. That's nice. But you know what's not nice? The fact that I still don't have that fourth number. Case. Oh, did I check that? I saw something other than case. Or am I wrong? Yeah. Phone. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. I knew he blamed her for everything. Though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Mm hmm. Let's check the journal again in that case. Go without the last page. I think he's crazy. He keeps calling me at the most impossible hours just to yell at me, calling me names, threatening that if I don't get Kelsey go, if I don't let Kelsey go, he'll do this or that. 
As if I've got her tied up in here. I know I unplug the phone when I go to s I now unplug the phone when I go to sleep. Right. That music only plays when the journal is on. Still have to search for Marie's journal. Orange peels. I feel like I'm still missing some stuff. Well, I have to- ooh, that. I loved skinny dipping. But Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool. After dark, no one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. That thing. You as well. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Hmm. Is that a separate thing? Because, yeah, that's a separate thing. I loved skinny dipping. No, oh, it's not. But Marie and... I loved skinny dipping. It's the same thing. But Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Don't really, mind me. I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool. After dark, no one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. Pizza boxes. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. Ooh. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Right, so... Yeah. It's like you're walking around that room, yet you keep finding new things. So many new things. Oh, look at that! My first page is full. After that school article, people kept asking me why I did it. High school kid saves classmates from hunger. As if I were some kind of a hero. So stupid. And I keep telling them the same story. Aren't they sick of it yet? Maybe I should publish a book. My life's story. So they'll stop bugging me. Crazy people. Here, for the last time. Last fall I caught a kid stealing someone's lunch from a backpack as... As he stuffed the sandwich in his mouth, our eyes locked. He panicked, dropped the food and ran. I never realized some of my classmates were actually hungry. So I joined food rescue to help. There, the end. Almost full, you know. Four, nine. Four, nine, five. There's still a spot here. You know what? I realized I cannot leave this room. Oh, the green eatery card. What? The green eatery. Green as in with fungus yes i am never eating Ayurvedic lasagna ever again but some people must have liked mr jones's cooking well it's not really updating my journal so i don't i don't did i check that already i did right i'm not popping bags check those but what if I guess the cases? I need to find... Five figure? What? Five? I oh need god. To find the key. And I only have three. Ugh. Name badge. Marie Food Torres, rescue. volunteer. Yeah, it was a good place to be. Until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Worse than being hungry. What do you mean? What do I mean? Oh, the journal's updated. Give it two numbers, please. Two numbers. There's no number. That probably was the beginning of their relation, right? 
Oh, free. Yeah. There you go. Three. Four. Nine. Five. Well, I'm still missing one number, so yeah. Oh, I thought it... I thought it couldn't turn it on. Oh, look at that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, and another thing. Oh, I got lucky. I wore those a lot. Not to protect my eyes, but to hide them. Ugh, so sad. I didn't want anyone to know. Damn it. Now I'm having trouble finding... Oh, you know what? But this updated the journal, so let's have a look. I have the last number. Three. You know what? I will write it down. I will write it down. Using my notes. Three. Four. Nine. Five. And I'm missing one. You might. It's supposed to be five digits, so I might guess the last one, unless it is the last one. This is annoying because it seems like I'm only missing one entry. There's a drawing there, so there's nothing here. See, I'm only missing this last entry. So the number has to be here. So, so far I have... What? Where are you? Three, four, nine, five. So I can try nine numbers, ten numbers, and make it happen with the case. This is what I'm going to do. What is the code, Marie? Wait, the journal. Three. It must be in the journal. Wow, you figure? Three, four, nine, five, zero. God damn it. What is the combination, Marie? Maybe she kept it in here somewhere. Don't worry, I got this. One. Yay! Good work, Kelsey. <laughs> oh I can't believe that God. worked. Then again, I am missing only the last entry, so it had to be the last number. The and past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawkins said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time. And she was ruining it. So I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool. And he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me, but still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. 
I stopped, because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. I, I told you. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration. No, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house. And we got caught by Mr. Torres. But I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it, she screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... Oh, a jump scare. What do you think you remember is not necessarily what really happened or how others remember it. That is true. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. That we all remember. So who shot him? Was it Marie? It was Marie, right? She's in jail. I knew that she's in jail. Oh. Mom, where are you? Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Aunt Marie is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar in your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. Hmm. Oh, so I am free to go. Well, I know what happened now. At least I think I do. This sort of seemed like something that happened. That... I still don't know why I broke into Marie's home. Oh, oh that's, that's it. That's the end of the game. Closed chapter. Right, okay, that was a pleasant game. Visually, I liked it a lot. It was very similar to Life is Strange. I suppose visually it was even too similar from time to time. It, it, it was sort of absorbing you and you were into that story and you wanted to know what actually happened. The music is nice, yeah, the music is very nice. It was free and I would have paid for that game, like 5 euros. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Thank you for playing. Well, you're welcome. Thank you for allowing me to. I hope you enjoyed that game. I wanted to play it because I knew that it's uh, very nostalgic, similar. It kind of reminded me of... What? Uh, what's the name of that girl? Ethan Carter. Vanishing of Ethan Carter. The way we could have seen what happened in that room. It's a nice little game. Thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like. Leave a like if you like that playthrough. And look at me. I managed to open the case without the last digit. <laughs> this was Ola from Stop Me O channel. Bye.